Yo, what is up everyone? It's Jack here. I'm a Shopify developer at Section Store. And in this video, I'll be showing you how you can add a simple product upsell, just like these two here, to any Shopify theme in a couple of minutes. Adding an upsell to the product page is probably one of the best ways to increase average order value on Shopify. And there's a lot of apps that do this, but most of the apps either have a huge upfront cost or want you to pay a monthly subscription and take a percentage of the sale just for having a small upsell widget like this in the theme. So in this video, I'll show you how you can add an upsell identical to these ones here in a couple of minutes to any free or paid Shopify theme with absolutely no app subscription or ongoing cost. For this, I'm using the free to install Shopify app section store. Section store is a component library with over 500 different Shopify theme sections that work in any theme. Today, we'll be looking at the upsell and cross sell too. As you can see here, the section's a one-time charge of only $9 and it's never recurring. So once you purchase the section, you own it forever. You can use it as many themes as you want, as many times as you want. I'm going to go ahead and purchase the section that's going to show up here under My Sections. Now I've purchased the section that's here under My Sections. I click Add to Theme and I add it to any of my themes in just a single click. Jumping over to the product page in the theme editor, hit Add Section, search for Upsell. Find Upsell 2 that you just installed and add it to the product page. Here's an example of the section that I installed earlier. You want to start by clicking on the section name, which is going to give us the overall settings for the section. First and foremost, at the top here, we have the position. So right now I have this below the buy buttons, but you could also have it above the buy buttons, above or below the product title, above or below the description or below the price. Moving down, we have a heading component. So this is the heading at the top of the section where you can add some custom text. You can apply a custom font to the section and you have customization options for the font size for both desktop and mobile, the line height and the alignment. So if you want it centered in the left or on the right hand side. Moving down, we have item settings. So this is just a lot of styling options. We've got padding vertical for desktop and mobile, horizontal padding for desktop and mobile and roundness. So you can adjust these to make small tweaks to the styling to get it matching just right for your theme. Below that, we have image settings, again, just size for desktop and mobile, roundness and border thickness. Title settings, so options to customize the font for the products. Promo settings, if you want some promo text, which is what shows up underneath the product title. Again, font sizes, desktop and mobile with a custom font. And then finally, we move down to our button settings. So here you can customize the text for the button, what to do if it's sold out, again, with a custom font, and then all your styling options. So font, padding, horizontal and vertical, mobile settings, roundness and border thickness. We have variant settings, which is much of the same if you have a variant selector for your products. And then finally, we have all these color customization options. So you can change the color for every part of the section to get it matching just right for your product page and your brand. Once you've made all the section customizations, come over here and click on one of these blocks. And these are the products that will show up in the upsell section. You can either choose a product directly to show up on the product page, or you can use this connect dynamic source button to connect a meta field. So it's going to show different products depending on which one the customers clicked on. So you can upsell dynamically. Select your product from this product option here or add it via a meta field. Add some promo text if you want to add some promo text. Turn on or off variant drop down depending on if the product has variants and then move down to the second product. If you only want to upsell one product, you can of course hide the second product block, otherwise it's much the same thing here. Select a product, connect a meta field, add some promo text, and turn on or off the variant drop down. Once you're happy with how this is all looking, you've made all your color customizations, linked your products, and you think it's looking good, head up to the top right corner in the theme and hit save. Moving back to the theme preview, and as you can see here, we've got these custom product upsells on the product page that we added in just a couple of minutes. Upselling a product in the theme is a great way to increase average order value, but you don't want to have that cost offset by paying for a super expensive app subscription, so something like this is a great option for a one-time charge of only $9 to get these upsells appearing in the theme. You can use this section on as many product pages as you want, and it has meta fields so you can dynamically source the product so it's always showing the correct one to the customer. So there we go, that was just a quick tutorial on how you can cheaply add product upsells to any product page in Shopify with no subscription. If you've got any questions about this or about any other sections, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, keep an eye on both this channel and the app as we put out new sections every single week.